Michigan, Steve Smith. He has been under a lot of heat from the fans. He has thrown seven interceptions. However, his running game is as good as it has ever been. Bo says you might look for Steve Smith to do an awful lot of running this afternoon against the Spartans. And Anthony Carter, I don't need to tell you much about his offense. The story there, injuries. A pulled groin he has been bothered with all year. Watch the hit he takes here. This is the other problem. Bruised ribs. He missed the second half last week against Indiana. He will play today, but he will certainly not be at 100%. Mike Warren leads his team in tackles, 64 tackles for the Michigan Wolverines. He is described by some as a wild man. He has forced many teams into a passing offense just to get around him. You won't see the Spartans run at Warren today. They have just completed the flip of the coin. The Wolverines have won the toss of that coin and have elected to receive. Michigan State, of course, will kick off and they'll be defending the goal to our right and also to your right, that'll be the south goal. And the Wolverines have made the exit from that tunnel, about ready to come out of the field as they get all set now to try to pick up victory number 126 for Bo Schembechler here in his 14th season as they pass under the Go Blue Michigan Club sign here, and they're up for this one. You know, I guess you could just throw out all the other stats, Steve, and say it's a new ball game, it's a new season when the Spartans and the Wolverines get together. Well, you hear the experts this morning. Some say blowout, Michigan will win big. Some say it's an evenly matched game, as we talked about earlier, that it's going to be a toss-up one point or the other. I think that's absolutely right. Statistics in a game like this mean nothing because these teams are both about four feet off the ground right now. Well, so we have a running play from Michigan State. Let's take this time out. All right. Line of scrimmage, first and ten. LaBelle trying to roll out. Could not find any blockers. And the quarterback getting the starting call in the place of Leister. Has swarmed under and led by Carlton Rose along with Robert Thompson, both outside linebackers. And it's McClellan on the carry. He is the fullback. He gets up to around the 20-yard line, leading a stop on him. He is the nose guard of the Wolverines, Al Sinchich. Turner split wide to the left. On the right side, Otis Grant, the deep man. He's a flanker. Draw play up the middle. Not enough for the first down. Picked up about three. And once again, since it's the nose guard along with Gergash coming in to make the stop on the Spartans as they are shy on the carry. Last week they came out throwing against Notre Dame. This week much more conservative. Of course, Lavelle has not played a game yet. So I'm sure Coach Muddy Waters just wants to let him get a feel of these 106,000 fans that are on top of him. So they'll probably be conservative, I would think, for the first three, four series. Carter back to handle a punt from Boshienko. End over end, Carter at his own 32. Anthony gets a way up the center of the field. Down to the 40. 35 of the Spartans. 30. Might go all the way and finally run out of bounds at the 17-yard line of Michigan State on an electrifying return by Anthony Carter. Anthony Carter does the work, but watch the tunnel right up the middle. He doesn't even have to work very hard. Nobody's going to touch him. Now he's on his own. Switch to the outside. That's what a good running back will do, and he heads down the sideline. Some beautiful blocks open the tunnel right up the middle. That's how the play's designed. Great field position now for the Wolverines. The biggest threat of this ball game. Steve Smith on the option. Gets it himself. Gets inside the 15-yard line down to around the 12-yard line. And it was McAdoo with the Spartans. Steve Smith, the quarterback, with Ricks and Rice, the running backs. Hand off to Rice, the fullback, inside the 10, close to the seven-yard line of the Spartans. Calvin Perkins, the nose guard of the Spartans, leading the way to make the stop. Hand off to Ricks, cuts back in inside the five, close to the two-yard line. Ricks stays in there at the tailback position. Rice, the fullback. Tucked in behind Steve Smith, the quarterback. Rolls out. Smith keeps it. Touchdown. Wolverine. No flags on the play. The Wolverines go out in front on a carry by Steve Smith. Six to nothing. That is Steve Smith's forte right there. He gives you good play action. He'll hold up the linebackers just long enough, and he's gone. He is He's a running back quarterback. He's what coaches like to dream about when they think about running an option play because he's not afraid to run, and he is so good at it once he turns that corner. Smith picks up where he uh, left off last year, scoring two touchdown runs against the Spartans, and starts it off here this afternoon. 
of uh, Michigan State, first and ten. And on the carry this time, coming straight ahead is Tony Ellis, the halfback. Picks up a couple of yards, but he paid the price for it. Marcus Tony now at a fullback with the Spartans. Big handoff by LaBelle, looking for a pass and completion. As this time, he goes to the short man. Tom Robinson, the tight end, cutting across. Rose and Boren making the play. Third down conversions for Michigan State up to this point. 0 for 1. And they need uh, about a yard and a half at their own 34-yard line. Pitch out this time comes to Tony Ellis. He gets up to the 35-yard line, but not enough for the first down as that Wolverine defense comes alive and Winfred Carraway, defensive tackle, making the hit. So the Spartans are short and be fourth down. The scrimmage so far for the Wolverines this year, a total of 37 yards, and that's been by Smith. And on the longest pass from Smith, it's gone to Rogers this season for the Wolverines of a total of 39 yards. Ricks on the carry, tries to get outside, gets across the 50, close to the 47-yard line of the Spartans. Howard McAdoo, the defensive tackle. Mario checks out of there for the Wolverines on the line. James back in there now at the left guard. Here comes Smith with a pass to Carter. He stays in bounds. It's complete at the 33 of the Spartans. He knew exactly where he had to be. Stop. And then Wolverines have their sixth first down of the ball game with 34 seconds of the opening quarter to go. Ricks on a carry again. Inside the 20. First greeted there by Chris Van Pelt. And then Morrissey came on top. But it was Van Pelt getting credit for the tackle on Ricks. Of some openings supplied by the Spartans in that opening quarter. Second quarter, first play of the second quarter, second down. And six for the Wolverines. Knock it on the door. And that time it was Dan Rice, the fullback carrying, tried the right guard position. And they bring in double tight end with Dunaway and Sim Nelson in there. And Smith rolls out looking for Carter. Can't find him open. Now we'll have to scramble. And still gets the ball away. And a fine catch that time by Sim Nelson, the tight end. Tackled by Neely and Carl Banks. But give the credit to Steve Smith on the scramble. But it worked. Rick's on the carry. Finds some daylight. And I don't know how he got through there at the 10-yard line. And managed to pick up three additional yards close to the 7-yard line. Second down and five for the Wolverines. Long count this time by Smith. Ricks again. Touchdown, Wolverines. As Ricks started from the seven-yard line and moved in for the touchdown. Ricks can give you a double threat because he's so quick and so strong. The play goes outside, makes the cut right back up the middle, and there's just nobody there. Money Waters, as Steve said, figuring that experience would be a little better than what happened to Lavelle in there in the opening quarter. He just could not move the ball club. Leister again. And he finds a man open. Could be a fumble. And they're really incomplete. And the draw play this time going to the tailback, and it goes nowhere. Might have picked up a yard. Dave Meredith, along with Boren in there to make the stop on the Spartan carrier. And there was just no place to go. That'll be fourth down and 17. Well, the Wolverines faced with third down and eight now. And they have converted on their third downs thus far, three for five. Well, the Spartans are still old for five in their third down conversion. Smith, he's five yards for the first down. He's going to the corner. He's got to open. And a leg race between he and Maidro. And Carter forced out of bounds at the 17-yard line of the Spartans. It was not made low as Kanama, the cornerback, getting chased and finally forcing him out of bounds. Carter Kanama forcing Anthony Carter out of bounds on a long play. The Wolverines have a first down, but they're knocking on the door again. If Anthony Carter is healthy, he is gone. He made a nice cut right to the goal post. He's got about a four-step lead at this point. If it's a foot race, he's gone, but he's a little bit limp with that groin pull and the bruised ribs. Maidlow takes him out of bounds. They take Bean out of the lineup and come in now with a double tight end with Dunaway and Nelson. And Steve Smith fakes it and carries inside the five-yard line. Dixon at the bottom of the pile, along with Cunningham on the hit for the Wolverine, or rather for the uh, Spartans. 
this. Going. Touchdown. He got away the tight end. Had double coverage of a tight end, but there was enough daylight over there as Smith stepped back. And on the third and goal, got the touchdown. And a pass to Dunaway. Big play by Steve Smith as he waits and waits, and that is the key, patience. Dunaway makes his move, double coverage. They crossed in front of each other, almost, defensemen almost screened each other out. 6.48 to go in the second quarter. The Wolf Rings on top of the Spartans by a score of 21. Dunaway. It'll be a 31-yard attempt. Pick us up. And the kick is good as Bojenko gets the Spartans on the board with a 31-yard effort with 1.55 to go in the first half. It's the Wolverines, 21, and Michigan State, 3. Meanwhile, the Wolverines line up at the line of scrimmage with a second down and seven situation at their own 23-yard line with 7.06 to go in the third quarter. Steve Smith passing out and complete to Carraway, the tight end. Breaks a tackle, slips across the 30, gets the first down close to the 34-yard line as James Neely gets credit for that tackle, along with Tim Cunningham, the strong safety. First and 10 for the Wolverines at their own 34, and they lead in the ball game 21-3. And here in the third quarter, Rick Sinatera takes the green, crosses the 50, and finally tripped up in Michigan State territory around the 49 to 48-yard line. Van Pelt, the cornerback, Making the hit and the tackle. Watch the acceleration of Larry Ricks. He is through the hole and he is gone right there. Once you're past the linebackers, you know you've got an extra 10 yards and he is so quick through the line. Ricks trying to get another 100 yard plus. Carter split out wide to the left for the Wolverine. Rogers in there now and uh, does not carry as he moves out to the right. Smith faking the pitch out to the tailback instead giving to the fullback and Stevens coming in to make the stop on Dan Rice. Second down and nine at the 36 of the Spartans. The fake this time and looking for Carter. Interception made at the 12 yard line. Flag goes down at the 12. Anthony Carter high into the air and taking the ball away from Tim Cunningham. Covered on the play. Carter with a great reception that time. Might be a face mask down there. Steve Smith got popped just after he threw the ball, but he got up just fine. He was not hurt. You just see him going down there. Anthony Carter, how many times has he done this? Heading for the sidelines, goes up in the air for the catch. And there goes the flag. Well, Carter through the air today with his receptions, a total of 109 yards. Smith now 9 of 16 for a total of 165 against the Spartans. So they've made the announcement that he is the all-time career leader in receptions for the University of Michigan. With Dunaway and Sim Nelson. Carter's foot wide to the right. Long count this time by Smith. Fakes the handoff to his fullback. Cannot hang on to the ball. Dunaway, Craig Dunaway had it at the knees, did the juggling act, and couldn't hang on to it, and he had everybody beat. Oh, Ali Haji Sheik will mark down that uh, tee at the 17-yard line, a 27-yard field goal effort. Hewlett sets it down. Ali Sheik's kick is good, and Michigan goes on top now by a score of 24-3. In motion. Meister on the run. Over the middle. Intercepted by Bostick. Intended that time for Ted Jones. Way over his head. Bostick moved in. Made the interception. Dropped to his knees. The ball was moved in at the 47-yard line of the University of Michigan. The second turnover by the Spartans. And giving good field position to his offensive unit. The Wolverines will start this one off at their own 47 first and 10. Pitch out this time to Rogers, trying to skirt left in and in there to grab a hold of the sleeve and throw him down with Stevens, the defensive end on the left side. His full back in front of him is Dan Rice, the quarterback, Steve Smith, who's had a good afternoon. Rice, the fullback, 
breaks a couple of tackles and finally stumbles to the turf inside the Spartan 30-yard line. They'll mark it down close to the 27. And, oh, I'll uh, stand corrected. It was Garrett definitely on the carry. He's in there with Rodgers. The pitch out goes to Rodgers now. Gets a good block. Gets back inside and gets close to the 20-yard line. Good block served up by Garrett that time on Chris Van Pelt, who was moving up quickly. And he took him out of the play, enabling Rodgers to make the cut and move up and finally brought down by Dixon. With 32 seconds remaining in the third quarter, second down and four for the Wolverines. And moving straight ahead that time, Eddie Garrett, the fullback, should have enough for the first down as he gets inside the Spartan 15. Young Mr. Garrett out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin is a freshman. He's carried it twice now for a total of 13 yards. Wolverines, a first and 10. Smith has an Anthony Carter touchdown. As the seconds ran out to close out the third quarter, there was a strike from Smith to Anthony Carter in the end zone for a touchdown for the Wolverines. I'll tell you one thing for sure, Bo's going to have to quit telling us how injured Anthony Carter is, because if he's only playing at 80%, that's the most amazing 80% I have seen. And right now, Michigan ups the ante to 31 to 3. Steve Smith going back, rolls out a little bit, and when he pulls up, you know who he's looking for. He never went to anybody with his eyes except Anthony Carter, who made a turn into the goalpost. They put the crunch on Anthony, but it's a little too late. He's already got it in the end zone, 31 to three. And that was the final play of the third quarter. So we get all set for the fourth quarter. Michigan on top by a score of 31 to three. The defensive backfield is just playing center field now, trying to knock down anything long, and they'll give away those sideline passes. McClellan, mostly on those swing passes, has seven receptions for a total of 29 yards. It's third and five, Leister. Still trying to find somebody open and completes it. Shaking dice on that one and unloads to his tight end, Terry Tanker, 10 versus 10 at the Michigan 45 yard line. Meister connecting away this time and not being denied. But charging in there and making a stop on him was big number 93, and that was Limoran who came in there, a backup outside linebacker shooting in, but a flag goes down and we may get a penalty on top of the play. will go out of bounds and he's going to be shy of the first down by at least a couple of yards fourth down long count this time by Leister puts it on a little free picker over the middle to the outside on a one on one the completion is made to Tony Woods he goes out of bounds for the Spartans that's something to cheer about as they get a first down Michigan has dominated almost from the start, 31 to 3. They led at the halftime by a score of 21 to 3. Leister going again now for another pass into the end zone and not being able to handle it is McClellan. Diving effort is made and now they're going to give him credit for it? Wait a minute. Well, the one official has signaled touchdown. But I tell you, certainly nothing against the Spartans, but if that's a touchdown, and I got to thank that official from East Lansing because there was no way in the world he caught that ball in the end zone. And I would like to see the Spartan score as much as anybody, but there was just no way in the world he's in the end zone. We'll watch on the replay. Leister rolls out, sends most of the flow to the left side. Well, I don't know now. Maybe he did have it. Garrett and Kerry Smith are running backs. and sort of ridden out of bounds at the 47 yard line by Carl Williams on a good run that time by Kerry Smith the yards now on three carries by Kerry Smith and they'll try him again why not when you got a hot hand across the 40 to the 39 yard line of Michigan State this is Kerry Smith we've been talking about he has carried now four times for 53 yards and he takes the pitch out from Steve Smith. No relation. And that's good enough for more yardage that time. On a first and 10 inside the 35. Close to the 32 of Michigan State. 
Third and one at the Spartan 30-yard line. Terry Smith tries the door, fumbles the ball, and recovered by Michigan State. He was greeted right at the line of scrimmage, took a jolt, and Carl Banks will get credit for that one for Michigan State. Three wide receivers in there for Michigan State, and the pass is completed to Grant. He has a first down. Gets inside Michigan territory, just about the 44-yard line. The only 10-yard passes Michigan is very happy to give those away. Second and 10, and the Spartans will go no place at all because in there to really make a hit was Rodgers the University of Michigan right at the line. Fourth and seven. Doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot when you're down 31-9, but... Meister firing, got a first down of his man stayed in territory, he did, it was Jones. Jones just inside the 30, the Wolverines, first down by Leister through the air, 27 to 39, and 10 of those catches have been made by McClellan. The Jones, wide open at the five yard line, gets to the four, and in there was Body and Hewlett. 85 yards to the air on seven catches by Jones. McClellan dives in. From the five-yard line, make it from the four-yard line, he goes in for the touchdown, and the Spartan fans, once again, who have been fairly quiet today, have something to cheer about. Workhorse, down to seven seconds. Last play of the ball game. Unless we get a timeout someplace along the line, we will not. That'll be the last play of the contest as time has run out here at Michigan Stadium. And a fairly good afternoon and easy afternoon for the Wolverines as they come through with a win over Michigan State, the final score, Michigan 31, the Spartans of Michigan State 17, we'll be right back. <laughs>